A lot of people after my reaction to Crow asked me to react to Revelation by Diana Ankintanova and I said of course I will but not before I give you a bit about the premise of the song. Diana Ankintanova released the composition in July of this year. Uh, Revelation became Diana's first author's song which became famous after participating in two seasons of the project which was You Are Super which she won, a channel for children in the motherland and naturally she said I'm very excited to present it to you because many people say that the first pancake is always lumpy she quoted and she said no no social networks in fact I don't think so because I myself really like the song and my colleagues as well. The words of music revelation were written by Diana herself. Sergei Emanoff was responsible for arranging, recording and mixing the single. Alexandra Pesnemi became the sound producer and author of the text of the recitative and the single was released by Media Cube Music. So there's all the information you need to know. So I've got to be a bit more careful with the fact that this is maybe semi-biographical but at the same time I want to say to all the people that left comments about Crow people who follow my channel so please like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow always say things like no Diana doesn't uh, that wasn't what the song was about my channel is biographical I've just done that my channel is not to talk through the song for us to all savour her voice and her music and I always do that so you don't get the moment spoilt of enjoying and savouring what this incredible artist is about and thirdly when I do the lyrics I give you sometimes life experiences I put in a different perspective we take away social media we take away what Diana said and I give you my perspective that's what interpretation of lyrics is all about. Be logical, everybody. When you listen to a song, the lyrics to you will mean something different to me, always. So my interpretation can never be the same as Diana's when I look at the lyrics. It can never be. And that's why my channel is growing and growing. People are getting a, a different outside look into the lyrics and they're enjoying it. And I hope you enjoy my interpretation of the lyrics straight after. I will keep in mind that it's about Diana and it's semi-biographical, but the rest of it comes from me and my heart and my love for this wonderful, wonderful woman, young lady, woman. Diana Ankintanova, revelation for all the people that responded to the Crow reaction I did. Thousands of you did, thank you. I hope you respond to this and love it just as much. Just press the button to get the sound. Sorry about this. It does happen live on live shows. And it's happened to me three times this morning with this video. It'll catch up. Here we go. Sorry, 
As always her songs are far too short I could have listened to another verse or two more music it was just effortless that is why I really support her and straight away my first impressions is my first time watching is this does she have war paint on her face is it symbolic something Russian something of the motherland that she has put on herself to express the lyrics in her song, I'll see now when I study them and I give you my reaction. But straight away, I feel it's almost like if it's semi-biographical and she's got, not war paint, it's probably the wrong, but images, emblems, sacrificial images they could be. I don't know, but it's very intriguing video because she's whispering then you see then you hear voices in the background and to me that always represents usually i'll again have to look at the lyrics it always means demons or whispers or people or spirits and she's very spiritual is diana her and the motherland and the nature and even in the crow song the freedom of the crow the white crow not the black crow she's so in touch with nature that when I hear whispers, is it whispers through the trees? Is it through? We'll see. But straight away, Revelation is going to be a revelation for me because I'm kind of lost. I don't know what to say, except it was a very simple but very effective video simply because Diana has a liquid gold voice that is so healing to listen to. You almost want to do this to the video. I always sit back and I study. I study the video because I look for little hidden things. So we have the whispers, we have the, the night and the day. She's there with the sunshine, with a lighter shade on her face. Then she's with the dark hair. So is there a darkness? Is there a comparison between good times and bad? Let me take it away now with the lyrics and see. First one, looking into my eyes, you will see the sky. The beauty of pure smoothness of mental life is the cast. So there we have the beginning of the video. As I said, she was walking, the sunlight was shining, lighter shades of, of I'm not going to say makeup, but I'm going to say the pattern on her face, resembling what exactly? And she says, of mental life is a cast. So Diana to me straight away is opening up a song saying this is semi-biographical, it's about the mental state I'm in and there are times that I walk in the sun and I'm feeling elated and I'm feeling life is great because it truly is great. She's won two seasons of the project. She's also been in the super talent show and she won that as well or the old champions, you can tell me in the comments. But she was exceptionally exceptionally rare to have done that artists just don't achieve her success because that is why she's walking in the sunshine because people adore her and love her let's continue 
She says in verse 2, fresh laughter without embellishment, sparks of illumination. May all naivety, all naivety is the story of naked revelation. It is semi-biographical if I was to think of Diana and think of her career and think of her as a young girl in supermarkets. I saw a video of her very young singing in a supermarket and um, in a shopping mall is another word for it. Not a supermarket, shopping mall and just singing. And I thought she's come such a long, long way. Now she's what probably the most successful young female artist and I think her success is, um, is parallel to Paulina Gagarina's success who represented Russia in the Eurovision and had the most phenomenal voice and she talks to sparks of illumination and fresh laughter without embellishment so now she laughs from the soul that's what I'm, I'm feeling here she's laughing without embellishment that means without she she doesn't stop laughing she's laughing she's feeling good she's taking the rays of sunshine inside herself and all that she's learnt in the music industry from a young girl she's now empowered herself she's in charge of her own tours her own she's her own manager her own songwriter she arranges she edits she's a businesswoman naive the naive child is gone that success has made diana grow extraordinarily quickly successfully and she intends to hold on to it because she said naked revelation so what has she got to reveal verse three plunging deep into the eyes you'll feel peace and that is what we see in the video everybody a lot of the camera work went straight into Diana's eyes and you do feel relaxed looking at her you look and you think she's very calm there's nothing she's and she gives you the stare and it's deliberately done for you to look into her eyes because what you see is just calmness so that is very true at this height you will hear a trill and relieve the pain with your hand so that's almost like an image of clenching the fists like she's like oh at times but now you'll just see the hands free because she's free she's in control it continues looking into my eyes you saw the sea you heard voices at the touch of a glance so the whispers the spirits that's what this is about you know we always talk about the sea being symbolic in songs you often see artists in in the sea drowning and that's drowning in emotions but you didn't see it here in this video you saw diana telling you a story that she's at peace she's okay she's in control life is good and the voices are the voices that guide her from within from her soul they're the spiritual guidance voices telling her this is what you do you're very happy you're very good congratulations that kind of thing now it says in the next an incredulous wolf cub they turned out to be a maiden gray experience punished <gasps> how strong is that for words that's not poetic words that's life experience i think when diana was growing up her affinity to nature not just came from a child she felt initially like the abandoned child in an orphanage and you take it as introspectively here and she probably related to the wolf cub that mankind feared it but hunted it and she was going to be like one of the surviving wolves and she people were going to hear her cries at some stage but not cries of pain cries of joy which we talked about in the beginning of the song but cries of happiness and the grey experience because she related to the wolf and the wolves are usually grey in colour is, is punished so all the mistakes that she's made in her life 
she and that she's punished herself for she's corrected and i think she's in in fairness diana has gone from that gray wolf to a white wolf and so she turns take take such measures a crystal clear wave it turned into a pitch drought on the sea at the bottom there is more and more silt so that's her walk through life her walk through the musical journey her walk through being adopted being so happy with her new mother and everything is is so secure that she has drowned but what's happened is instead of drowning in emotions think about this the sea is dry and she's walking on the silt there is no 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 more drowning for diana she's walking through that silt now it's on she her feet are on dry land the silt she's all the emotions are gone all the tears of unhappiness are gone she's just walking through life now doing what she has to do creating albums do and it's using her life experience through the lyrics so there she says at the very end look at me thoughts fade your dawn your sunset the sun is clear she says that so therefore when the video is homing in on her and she's all in black and you look at her she's still she's showing in the symbolic makeup that she is guided by nature and her, her good instinct and the spiritual voices she hears through nature i feel that's what that represents but she says look at me the sun is clear it is clear because she asked you before to look in her eyes she's at peace everything's clear you you can see straight into her soul now whereas before she didn't want maybe she hid maybe she said no but now she says look in, deep into my soul you see a fighting woman here a businesswoman a, a woman that had to grow up and now i'm in charge of me that cub that gray wolf is now a white wolf and i'm spiritually blessed and I'm in love with the motherland and everything. That's what she's saying. Because she continues here. The horizon is not far. The heart is take a pure step. Take a step. Midnight is near. I love that. That's the finish to Revelation. What does she mean by it? What is she telling you as a fan? As a person like myself. She's saying step by step the horizon the goals that she's been working towards are going to come to her everything she's worked towards is happening and she is becoming like Dimash in america she's becoming global so fast that i think even diana said that's my achievement to i sang in many languages i wanted to reach many people and i'm doing it that's her horizon to reach a global audience to put her life behind it that all that was gray all that was bad and look forward to the future and then she said midnight is here what happens in midnight dark it isn't dark in this these lyrics it isn't she's there in the sunlight at the beginning but she's saying when darkness comes she's at peace she sleeps and she's at peace so now she no longer has restless nights and fears the night. It's like take a step, midnight is here, a new day, a new dawn, a new beginning. That's what I get from the lyrics. I hope you've enjoyed my interpretation. They were quite long and I'm going to wrap it up by saying don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Take care for now.